Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, let us discuss about production of streptomycin in detail. So firstly, let us discuss about what is meant by the streptomycin. Streptomycin is a bacterial antibiotic drug which works against tuberculosis. So if a person is infected with tuberculosis diseases, tuberculosis disease, then he can be treated by injecting this streptomycin drug into him. So in this way, the streptomycin is used. So how the streptomycin can be produced? It can be produced from the bacteria called as streptomyces gracias bacteria. So it is mainly obtained from a microorganism called as streptomyces gracias bacteria. So normally this process of the production of streptomycin can be done by using fermentation process. So how the fermentation process will be done? Let us see now. So normally you have basic idea about the fermentation, right? And normally if you if you want to know about the fermentation the video has been already provided and the link will be given in the description box once if you watch the video of the fermentation then you can understand how the production of streptomycin will be done so normally uh, what is the main aim of the fermentation the main aim is the primary metabolites will get converted into the secondary metabolites by using nutrient medium right so that is the main aim of the fermentation so here what you are going to do for the production of streptomycin by using this fermentation technique. So firstly what you are going to do, the first step what you are going to do is that you are going to isolate streptomyces gracias bacteria. As I have said you the streptomycin can be produced from the streptomyces gracias right. So it is shortly written as streptom s gracias, s gracias okay. So now you are going to isolate this s gracias and you are going to culture it for 5 to 7 days with a temperature of 25 to 30 degrees celsius. And now you are going to keep this inoculum aside. And now on the other hand what you are going to do is that you are going to clean the fermentation tank after completion of 5 to 7 days you are going to take a fermentation tank and you are going to clean that fermentation tank with water such that it avoids the contamination of the bacteria. Fermentation is nothing but fermentation tank is nothing but the bioreactor okay bioreactor tank and now what you are going to do is that you are going to add this 4 to 5 percent of inoculum. So here inoculum has been prepared right. Within that 100% of inoculum, only 4 to 5% of inoculum will be added into this fermentation tank, which is also called as bioreactor tank. And now, along with this inoculum, you are also going to add the nutrient medium. You are also going to add the nutrient medium. So, if you watch the, if you watch my previous video of fermentation, I all, I also explained about this nutrient medium, which is mainly used for the conversion of primary metabolite to the secondary metabolite. And normally, I am going to say you here in a short way where the nutrient medium consists of water, carbohydrates, oils and fats, growth factors, buffers and oxygen. And here the oxygen plays a major and vital role for the production of streptomycin. And not only for the production of streptomycin, for any type of productions like for production of organic acids, alcohols or any type of wines or cheese, yogurt, any type of production of uh, products, this oxygen is highly used for the fermentation process. So now all of these ingredients will be added to the fermentation tank, which is also called as bioreactor tank. And now you are going to switch on the you are going to switch on the fermentation tank where the electricity will be supplied to this fermentation tank such that the agitation will be done. Agitation is nothing but we know that the bioreactor this fermenter consists of motor and that motor consists of the blades where inside the blade starts rotating with the help of that motor by using electricity such that the primary metabolites will get converted to the secondary metabolites such that the production of the streptomycin will be done actually. So here the temperature which you are going to apply is 25 to 30 degrees Celsius and you are going to control the pH up to 7.0 to 8.0 and you are not going to apply it for 8.0 you are going to apply only between 7.0 to 8.0 okay. So now the process of the fermentation will be continued right and during the process of the fermentation you are also going to add the proline so why the proline is added to the fermentation tank i mean the fermentation during the fermentation process because it mainly helps in production of high yield of streptomycin so for the production of high yield of streptomycin the proline will be added during fermentation process and now the fermentation process continues right and that fermentation includes three phases first phase second phase and third phase and now what happens in the first phase it takes 24 to 48 hours of time for rapid growth of mycelium mycelium is nothing but the streptomyces gracias bacteria which is responsible for the production of streptomycin which i have said you before itself and i have written here mycelium both are same don't get confused okay so now we are going to take streptomyces gracias bacterium right in the fermentation and in the first phase what happens is that it takes 24 to 48 hours of time 
to increase the quantity of that mycelium to increase the number so how the number will get increased by cell division process because we have added the nutrient medium in the fermentation process right we have added this nutrient medium in the ferment during the process of fermentation right so by utilizing this nutrient medium what happens is that the bacteria will starts cell division and once the cell division will be done then the rapid growth of mycelium occur that's nothing but there will be increase in the number of mycelium so as the rapid growth of mycelium will be done so the number will also be increased such that the ph will also be increased to 8.0 right the ph will also be raised to 8.0 due to the release of ammonia so once so by this you can understand that once the growth of the mycelium has been done then the release of ammonia will also be increased because there will be increase in the ph also right so this is the one of the most important thing which you have to remember so what is that once the rapid growth of mycelium has been increased then the release of ammonia will also be increased because the ph will also be increased right so this is the one of the most important thing which you have to remember in this production of streptomycin don't forget it so now in the second phase what will happen so here what i have said you the ammonia will be released during the first phase right and that ammonia which has been released will be utilized again by the mycelium itself it will be utilized by the mycelium such that it leads to the production of streptomycin so here the ammonia has been utilized right so as the ammonia has been utilized then the then the quantity of the ammonia will get decreased such that the ph will also get decreased so the ph will fall down to 7.6 so you i might i think you might have understood the concept here right so what i have said you in the first phase once the rapid growth of mycelium will be done increases then the release of ammonia will also be increased such that the ph will also be increased so what does this indicate once the ammonia quantity is high then the ph will also be high as the ammonia is utilized then the quantity will be then the quantity will decrease right so as that the ph will also get decreased which leads to the production of streptomycin and the production of the streptomycin occurs in the third phase that's nothing but so how the third phase will be done is that here the oxygen requirement will be low because the total process will be done right so the oxygen content will be will get decreased and even the nutrient medium also nutrient medium will also be decreased so once the oxygen as well as the nutrient medium will get decreased then it leads to the production of streptomycin so in this way the streptomycin will be obtained but this streptomycin which has been obtained will be unpure in form that's nothing but it is not pure okay so here the streptomycin which has been obtained is unpure in form okay so by using the three phases the streptomycin will be obtained which is unpure in form so now to make it pure what you are going to do you are going to do the process of filtration and purification so you are going to take that streptomycin you are going to extract that streptomycin and you are going to filter it you are going to purify it such that the pure form of streptomycin will be done so how you are going to perform this filtration let us see now so here unpure streptomycin has been obtained right so now you are going to uh, you are going to extract that unpure form of streptomycin and you are going to dissolve it in a it in a methanol as well as the acetone so here you are going to take a small small test tubes and you are going to firstly what you are going to do in the test tubes you are going to place this methanol as well as the acetone okay and now in this acetone and methanol you are going to add this unpure streptomycin so this indicates that unpure streptomycin will be dissolved in the methanol as well as the acetone and then after what happens is that you have to incubate it you have that's nothing but you are going to keep it aside for uh, for 4 to 5 minutes i mean you, you have to keep it aside then what will happen the precipitate as well as the supernatant will be formed right and that precipitate will be extracted and that precipitate which has been extracted is the pure form of streptomycin so i hope what you i hope i hope you people had understood what i'm saying so what happens here the unpure streptomycin which has been formed by the three phases will be extracted and it will be dissolved in methanol and acetone and once it is dissolved in methanol and acetone then the precipitate will be formed right and that precipitate which has been formed will get extracted such that the pure form of streptomycin will be obtained right so this is the process which you are going to do in the filtration and now the streptomycin will be obtained which is pure in form right the streptomycin will be obtained which is pure in form and then it will be stored and it will be preserved in the bottles and it will be supplied to the markets where it will be used by the doctors for curing tuberculosis in the patients so this is about production of streptomycin and if you like my explanation you can like and subscribe my channel and if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment in the comment box and don't forget to check the description box because the links has been provided over there and even the production of citric acid and lactic acid the glutamic acid and aspartic acid has also be explained the links will be given in the description box so don't forget to check out that description box thank you